guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for tuning in and please give this video a like, subscribe and let's get right into it. So today I am going to be doing my first ever session in the kitchen, dietitian in the kitchen, maybe that's what I should call it. I'm going to be making a chickpea curry. This is something that you guys requested at the end of the last video. I had a little um, option where you guys could say which recipe you would like either a soup or a curry because it is getting to the colder months people are finding it more difficult to stay healthy and I thought I would just yeah I'm just gonna be making a chickpea curry super easy super quick I hope you guys enjoy this video yeah I'll give you a look at how good it is at the end at some stage I was vegetarian anyone who knows me knows that I at some stage I was making a chickpea curry every week or every other week it's really good because you know it's very balanced you have some protein from the chickpeas you have um some fats from the coconut milk that we're going to put into it it was at this point that i realized that i actually have no coconut milk in the cupboard but i did have some plain yogurt which i could use which actually ended up tasting really good also i added some sweet potato and i also used some brown rice so that really made this to be very very high in fiber so really healthy for your gut and also after this meal i was full for ages it was really really satisfying i also like to serve it with bait on the side always which is always nice so yeah i really hope you guys enjoy this and let me know if you guys want more recipe kinds of videos in the comment section but also also just a disclaimer i am a dietitian <laughs> i'm not a chef so don't judge me on my technique because it's 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 not um just like any other person i just know the nutrition background of the food i don't know how to chop it properly and all of that stuff i hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right into it these are all my ingredients make sure that they're super fresh next you want to add your brown rice i kind of just eyeball it i know how much i need to make so that i have enough for that day and the next day pour some water in you want to make sure that it's one part of rice and at least two parts to three parts of water so that it gives the rice some room to double in size so you want to first start by prepping your ingredients Next, you want to start chopping your green pepper. Green peppers are really good for you because they're really rich in B vitamins and also in antioxidants and surprisingly in vitamin C too. So they're really Personally, I'm a massive fan of the orange sweet potato. They actually are the Beyonce of sweet potatoes. They are the best sweet potatoes. I used to hate the purple ones and then I found this kind of sweet potato and they, they kind of changed my life. Definitely would not be the same without them. <laughs> Orange sweet potatoes are actually very high in vitamin A. They really help to support your immune system and they're also really high in fiber. So they help keeping you full for longer and also are a really good source of complex carbs. I added a little bit of oil to the pan and now I'm just gonna slowly start to add my onions, my green peppers and I added some of the curry powder and obviously some crushed garlic add some cumin then add coriander Add one to two tablespoons of tomato paste. Mm -hmm. 
then I added my chopped sweet potato Sprinkle in some black pepper To reduce the salt, I try and add half of what you're supposed to add um, in terms of the powder for the stock and then I add the same amount of water. It's just my own way of making sure that there's less salt because it's really difficult to find a reduced salt stock anywhere in general, let alone is Lalin. Then I added that chickpeas in. Add about half a cup of plain yogurt. Add the sage. Add onion powder. Sprinkle in the mixed herbs. Add about one tablespoon of tomato sauce. Add the cayenne pepper. So just a disclaimer, I plated it this way for aesthetic. I usually eat this with some steamed broccoli or with some green beans. But yeah, basically I had this with brown rice and I really enjoy, I really enjoyed making it. Yeah, it was, I always love making this. Just like that, we are done plating up. videos like this I'm definitely planning on doing more dietitian in the kitchen sessions and I hope you like it and like comment and subscribe to my channel and yeah thanks again for everything